Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and I have a quick skill tutorial for you. I'll be walking you through how to create a table and import a CSV file into that table here in PostgreSQL 15. And I'll be running this on PG Admin 4. So before we actually import our CSV file in, we need to have a table ready to go to import that data into. And there are a couple ways to create a table, but I'll walk you through the way to do it with code. Um, and for that, let's make sure we first have our database selected here. Then we can go to our query tool up in the top left corner. And I will be using a Kaggle data set here for our CSV file. And in case you want to follow along, I have the link to that Kaggle uh, download in the description. So again, go to that link, download this file if you want to follow along. This is a data set of English Premier League matches from 1993 all the way to 2022. So let's go back to PG Admin and first create our table so that we can import our data. And our syntax will be as follows. So we'll say create table. And then what we want to name our table. So I want to call this table matches. And now open parentheses, and we have to define our columns. So the important part here is not that we have the exact same matching column names between our uh, PostgreSQL table here and our data set here, but rather that we have the same total number of columns and that they're in the same order with the correct data type. So our first column here is going to be the season end year. Say season end year. So this is what we want to call our column. And then followed by the data type. So this is an integer. And then our next column is going to be the week. Again, it's called WK, abbreviated in the data set. I'll call this week. But again, as long as it is in the same order here with the correct data type, we can call this whatever we want. So week, and that is an integer as well. Next is the date. And our data type is date for that. Now home, which is the home team. I will call that home underscore team. And we want this to be text. Then we have home goals and away goals, number of goals scored by each respective team. So let's go ahead and add those in. Column name will be home goals. Let's move this to the next line. That will be an integer. And then away goals, which will be an integer as well, since you can't score a partial goal. And then we have the away team and FTR, which stands for full-time result or the result of the game. So let's go ahead and add those two columns in. Away team is text. And I'll call this column result. And that will also be text. So again, make sure we have, we should have eight total columns here to match the eight total columns here. And we want to make sure that each column, which corresponds to a column in the original data set, is in the correct order with the correct data type. So once you're sure of that, we can go ahead and run this code here. Our query returned successfully. And we can go ahead and look at our table right now. So we can say select star from matches. And we should just have an empty table here. So just our column headers and no data, which is perfect. Exactly what we want. So just so you know, the other way to create a table is if we go into this drop down in our database here and we go to schemas. and into tables here. If you right click on tables and you hit create table, this is a way to do this without writing any code. You define the name of the table here and then columns here. So you use the plus sign to add a column. This is the column name and this is the data type here. So that is another um, option.
Okay, so now let's go ahead and import our CSV file into this blank table. So we're in schemas and tables here, and we can hit our dropdown. And now our, our newly created matches table appears. So with our matches table, let's right click on that and go to import slash export data. We want to import here, then I actually already have this um, entered in, but I can delete this for now. The format is CSV, and you can click on this folder icon to navigate to the location of your document. So I have this in documents here. We want to select our file, which is EPL matches. Click open. And now we want to go to options here, and we want to make sure we have this header option checked. So we want that to be blue and the delimiter should be a column. So again, make sure we have these two settings here. And then we can hit OK. Process started and process completed. So we can close out of those. And now let's rerun this line of code here. I'll put in a limit, because I think we have a few thousand rows. So let's say limit 20. Let's rerun this and make sure our data has populated. And there we go. So we have our newly created table with our data imported from a CSV file. So that's the end of this skill tutorial today. Please leave a like if you learned something new and you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for future data analytics content. Thanks for watching.